Hey guys, a uh, little different today uh, with the reteaching pages and the math pages. Uh, we're working on 15-6, uh, this one. I can't put it up on the big board just because this isn't one that will kind of be conducive to that. So what we're doing is we're doing problem solving and making generalizations. Generalizations are like educated guesses uh, based on what you know. So it says at the top, here's a generalization that to be tested. Any square can be cut in half through a diagonal, uh, the result is always two isosceles triangles with a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna do this generalization. We're gonna kind of go through it together. So what I have right now is a square, like so. You can see I already made the diagonal line like this. Uh, so I'm gonna cut in half and we're gonna see, is that generalization correct? So it says, test one example of this generalization. We drew a square ABCD, or we made a square ABCD. Then I made that diagonal line, and then inspect the triangles of ABC and CDA. Uh, because we wanna know if we cut this square in half, does it create two isosceles triangles? Well, right off the bat, we have to figure out, well, what is an isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangles are triangles that have two, uh, or triangles that have two sides that are the same. Uh, so within that, this is our first triangle. Looks like it's got a right angle to it. And it looks like this side is the same as this side. And over here, kind of the same thing. So the conclusion is, uh, yeah, it, it makes two right angle isosceles triangles. Uh, <clears throat> So it says triangle ABC, AB equals BC. So what it's saying is this side equals this side. And, uh, and angle B, this one, is going to be a 90 degree angle. Uh, so you can do that yourself if you so choose. Or you can kind of just look at this and realize that's just how it is. On the bottom it says, show that triangles ABC and CDA are the same size and same shape. So how I would do this, you can do it one of two ways. You can actually make your square and measure it out, or I would just take my square, cut it in half, and then show that they're the same by putting them over each other. See, they're the same. So how I do that on the bottom then is, I'd say, okay, they are the same by, and how did I do that? By having, by measuring and seeing that both of these sides or all, all these sides were three inches, if you measure it, or by overlapping with each other and, and showing that they're the same size that way. Uh, it's kind of a hard chapter to kind of do this with uh, without me being there and kind of explaining things. So just try your best with it. Uh, the next page, 15-6, it's the same thing of making a bunch of different generalizations. It says in one through five, test the generalization, state whether it appears to be correct or incorrect. So number one says all triangles have right angles. So is that true or not true? And if it's incorrect, give an example to support why. Uh, so we can probably kind of go through this together because like I said, it's kind of a weird lesson, at least the first one. For number one, all triangles have right angles. No, that's not true because we know that equilateral triangles don't, uh, scaling sometimes don't. So then I would say no, and then I would draw a triangle that does not have a right angle. I drew myself a little scalene triangle next to it. Uh, no, this, this tells me it does not because that one does not have a right angle. Uh, all rectangles have right angles. Is that true or false? Any two triangles can be joined to make a rhombus. Any two triangles at all. So let's say you have a scalene and equilateral. Can you put them together to make a rhombus? Is that true or not? Uh, and if it's not true, then show me why it's not true. Uh, all rectangles can be cut in half vertically or horizontally to make two smaller rectangles. So if you have a rectangle and you cut it in half, we'll make two smaller rectangles. Uh, intersecting lines are also parallel. Intersecting lines means they kind of, they can join, they, they, they go into each other. Are those also parallel? Parallel means that they, they're always next to each other, they'll never uh, go into each other. Uh, number six, how many whole numbers have exactly three digits? 
And number seven, how can you show that generalization is likely correct? How can you show? Uh, so with number seven, you just kind of come up with your own generalization. Uh, and that's it. Like I said, it's kind of a weird chapter. If you have any questions, let me know and I can try and work through this with you. Uh, otherwise, you can try your best and then you can also check the answers as well.